ongoing challenges for Facebook. Founder Mark Zuckerberg is not only looking to revamp the platform, but also the company's culture after experiencing its first ever losses. NBC's tech correspondent Jake Ward is in San Francisco with that story. Hey, Jake, good morning. Good morning, you guys. That's right. I mean, Facebook has enjoyed uninterrupted growth since it first went public a decade ago, but now revenue numbers are down. And Facebook's CEO Mark Zuckerberg says that global economic uncertainty is going to continue to affect the company. That's what he said in an earnings call as the company begins to tighten its belt. Tension and financial challenges at Facebook as the company and its employees brace for a tough road ahead after its parent company, Meta, reported its first ever revenue drop. Profits fall in a staggering 36% from last year. In response, Meta is now planning to hit the brakes on hiring. In an earnings call, CEO Mark Zuckerberg spelled out the grim reality, saying, expect us to get more done with fewer resources. That message has already been hammered home inside the company. According to a recording of an internal meeting last month obtained by The Verge, but not verified by NBC News, Zuckerberg was asked by a worker whether extra vacation days introduced during the pandemic would be continued. According to The Verge, the CEO appeared visibly frustrated, telling employees there are probably a bunch of people at the company who shouldn't be here. I think some of you might just say that this place isn't for you, and that self-selection is okay with me. In a statement, a Meta spokesperson writing in part, we regularly reevaluate our talent pipeline according to our business needs. The mood is definitely tense, and Mark Zuckerberg is going back to this old persona where he was this wartime CEO, and I think what he's realized is that in the pandemic, his company got really big, potentially a little lazy, and now he really needs people working a lot harder. Working harder to combat a host of challenges. A change to Apple's privacy policies hurt the company's ability to track users for advertising, costing the company billions. Plus, Meta is struggling to stave off competition from the app TikTok, which now has over a billion users. Facebook and Instagram making changes in response to focus more on video, but that has drawn backlash from some on the app. Users are saying, this is not what we want at all. And the pain may deepen. I think if the economy keeps going in the direction it's going, you could see layoffs, and it would be the first time that Facebook's ever done that in its entire history. A company geared toward the future, now struggling with its present. All right, Jake, let's, maybe you can help us put this in context. So is this a, a real turning point for Facebook, or is this just a bump in the road for them? Well, it is a turning point, Hoda, in the sense that Facebook, I mean, it's really one of the most valuable, one of the most successful companies in the history of capitalism. I wish I could somehow take you on a walk through the corporate campus. You know, you see that little thumbs up sign and you think, oh, how adorable. That place goes on and on and on. This is a company that's able to sink billions of dollars into a world, the metaverse, that doesn't even exist yet, right? So this company has incredible resources and a big future ahead of it. but. This is the first time we've ever seen year-over-year -year revenue drop, and that is a big thing. One thing to think about here, Mark Zuckerberg famously has preserved the back of that thumbs-up sign as the old Sun Microsystems sign that's on the back of it. That's the former tenant from before. It's a sign for his employees that this is always temporary. We always have to fight for survival. That's been his mantra. Well, those words are, I think, more relevant now than they've ever been before. All right, Jake Ward for us there. Thank you, Jake. That's interesting.